We're right next to Omicron, a smaller building connected to the main site. Can't you tell? No, my view is pretty limited. There's some heavy restrictions on my system access. Did you find a power suit? Not yet. Trying to figure out how to get into Omicron, the big building. Oh, okay. Keep up the good work. That's it? You got nothing? Good luck. okay with all this. With what? Being a talking box, for one thing. Not being... It's not so bad. So, you're not bothered at all by not having a body? I'm getting there. You're making me feel really self-conscious. Come on, be serious. I never felt that comfortable being human in the first place. This isn't much worse. Not being able to move would freak me out. Glad you got the box and not me. It would make it a little easier to help out if I had a body. But you're doing a good job. Just figured being able to stretch a little would give you some ease. My physical constraints don't translate to my experience very well. I feel about as human as before, but as if suspended in air. Which is kind of interesting now that I think about it. Cass, why do you think I was made? Why would this AI, the WoW, bring me here? I don't think you could ever know. I have my own beliefs, but nothing that can be verified. Tell me, why do you think the WoW brought me here? The WoW had a range of assignments, but they all sprung from one single idea. Preserve humanity. When the comet hit the Earth, killing everything, leaving a fraction of humanity left alive, the WoW started to compensate. It's destroying humanity. I think so, but I don't think we share its definition of human. Or life, due to that matter. Catherine, are we alive? That's an impossible question to answer. We lack meaningful definitions. Just figure there must be a way to know. Know if this life is worth living. You assume you've changed so much, but have you really? I don't know. I don't feel so different. The world sure does. I never realized how much the idea of myself depended on where I am. How do you mean? I miss Toronto. Not because my friends and family are there, but because I know where I fit in. In Toronto, I know who I am. That's an interesting observation. Is left. This tinnitus is becoming crippling. Sorry, we only have heavy stuff left. Morphine level drunk. I'll take it. Feels like my head is about to explode. You can do that except for emergencies. Besides, Cameron thinks that ringing will settle when JR reaches 100%. Then tell him to hurry the fuck up. Would be a matter of hours. Just hang in there. Just keep me posted. Yeah, well, um, I have this thing I need to take care of, so I'll talk to you.
you later, okay? Sure thing, Herb. He must have overloaded his black box. Humans have black boxes? Here we do. Company policy. It records your vitals to help medical personnel treat you in case of accident. That's how I can hear the dead. Right. Yeah, you should be able to data mine black boxes, just like the intercom at Theta. I think I saw things. Saw what? Why did I get the feeling that we just got lowered into the back of a van? What are you talking about? Just to come inside. And we want to go inside. What's the problem? Come on, let's get going. And nobody's answered to anything. I mean, what kind of cold-hearted motherfuckers would just leave us out here to die? Don't you get it? They're dead. They're all dead. Yeah, you're right. How can you be so calm about this shit? We are dying. How much higher up you guys got? 20 minutes. Off. Hey, I'm at risk. Let's get this away before the CO2 gets me. Trust me. Why wait, right? I'm the master of my own fate. Wait, trust. What are you doing? <laughs>
better be the right way. Find that circle trail.
Okay. That looks important. Butt bone. This looks like a, a room where you're supposed to run from thump something. You? I mean, I'm kind of in a suit already. That's been bothering me too. You know how you were transferred from Vancouver? Toronto. From then to now. How could I forget? Okay, so you do it again. You want to send me to the future? No, you idiot. I want to transfer your mind into a new body. What? Look, we already know it can be done. We don't need to make it a big deal. It is a big deal, Kath. It's a huge fucking deal. There's got to be something else that can take us down there. But Dunbat at Theta was the only vessel that could take that pressure, and you saw what happened. Then think of something else. Simon, please. You don't have to switch this instant. Just play along for now. If we find something else, then great. If not... I'm not promising anything. Thank you, Simon. Have a look around the room. This is where they would keep the power suits, if there are any left. one of the power suits there's a dead woman inside at least i think it's a woman just like the body we found in the annex she's missing her head gross this could work in our favor though look for a terminal nearby and see if you can boot it up Exactly grade A material. Don't write it off just yet. Remember what we found out at Theta. The suit you are wearing is basically just a cortex chip working a few kinds of structure gel powered by the on suit battery pack. And a dead colleague, same as in Reno. Exactly. If you think about it, we're actually incredibly lucky. We found a suit with an already dead body inside. I guess you're right. What about the wow? What makes you think it'll play along? It's not magic, it's algorithm. crazy about this plan. It feels wrong. Please, Simon. I can't give up on the Ark. I need this to work. So we need a Cortex chip, structure gel, and a battery pack. That's one hell of a shopping list. Thanks. I'll just hang around here if that's okay.
Level loading or something? Game crashed. Great. Mm. Thanks, game. Try that again. Uh, God damn it. Fucking didn't save any of that. I think I'm just gonna stop okay. after this part. You think we'll find one that fits you? I mean, my lady bard, my lady body. That's been bothering me too. You know how you were transferred from Vancouver? Toronto. From then to now. How could I forget? Okay, so we do it again. Do you want to send me to the future? No, you idiot. I want to transfer your mind into a new body. What? Look, we already know it can be done. We don't need to make it a big deal. It is a big deal, Cap. It's a huge fucking deal. There's got to be something else that can take us down there. But Dunbat at Theta was the only vessel that could take that pressure, and you saw what happened. Then think of something else. Simon, please. You don't have to switch this instant. Just play along for now. If we find something else, then great. If not... I'm not promising anything. Thank you, Simon. Have a look around the room. This is where they would keep the power suits, if there are any left. one of the power suits there's a dead woman inside at least i think it's a woman just like the body we found in the annex she's missing her head gross this could work in our favor though look for a terminal nearby see if you can boot it up Exactly grade A material. Don't write it off just yet. Remember what we found out at Theta. The suit you are wearing is basically just a cortex chip working a few pints of structure gel powered by the on-suit battery pack. And a dead colony. 
Imogen Reed. Exactly. If you think about it, we're actually incredibly lucky. We found a suit with an already dead body inside. I guess you're right. What about the wow? What makes you think it'll play along? It's not magic, it's algorithm. A set pattern. The wow won't be able to deny us, even if it was capable of one. I'm still not crazy about this plan. It feels wrong. Please, Simon. I can't give up on the Ark. I need this to work. So we need a Cortex chip, structure gel, and a battery pack. That's one hell of a shopping list. Thanks. I'll just hang around here if that's okay. I'll be back. Hey, Andy. I, I mean, ooh, I, I, I'm startled. I'm expecting a spoopy monster to be in here now. This totally feels like a spoopy monster place. And thanks. People are missing their heads. It's not in here. Wherever could their heads have gone? Same was that, so was I. I was also expecting a head on a corpse, but for some reason they, they decided to leave the heads off. Hey, this wasn't open before, was it?
Hmm. Okay. Shrimp head monster? Yeah, it seems more likely like what you're saying. That seems more likely. Is that a person? You're alive. This one's alive and he's mostly metal. This is a computer room. What's up with this? Lumar relay out of range. Hal, please respond. This is Rowdy Herber calling from Omicron. Please respond, Hal. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Omicron, can you hear us? Loud and clear. Everyone all right? You will be as soon as we make friends with the power suit. I'm sure you'll get used to it. <laughs> Wanted to check in before we pass. Yeah, uh, the way that these things work is very strange in this game. Like my character is essentially in a in a chip that is occupying a dead body. Like my character is occupying a dead lady's body. Totally normal. This is from up there. I saw that upstairs. It was broken on the ground. Uh, Alpha needs medicine. Into the abyss. Take in, take it to Alpha and the abyss. Alpha. Who's whose room is this? This is a freaky. Room. Yeah, my character is literally a. He's literally occupying a dead body. He's a microchip from a corpse. And like I said, this one is. It's a similar idea. It's a robot that's. Apparently. Yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna go continue looking. What is this? <gasps> Tape! Feels like I should be able to unlock that. Open lock. What is this? I don't know. Hat. That's a pretty good looking hat. What even is this? So far, I'm just not finding anything. Bull? Oh, that's the name of the robots. And then the... the um, Utilitarian robot, and then M U H. How old am I now? Sixteen. What do you mean? I honestly don't get the joke. Is it because my because you know I'm a woman, so I'm animu, and as an animu woman, I automatically uh, I'm automatically younger than I look.
Sorry, I had to catch myself sneezing. Nobody wants to hear a dude sneeze. But uh, if you're asking how old I am now, I'm 29. No, no, I didn't mean it like that. I thought you meant, like, how old is my character? I honestly have no idea how old the, any of these people are on here. But, yeah, I'm 29. I'm still youngish. But, I didn't, I, yeah, I mean, I didn't make, take that as an offense. I didn't mean to touch the dead body. Touch the dead body. I don't want to touch the dead body. Robot repair bay. Maybe there was a door that unlocked because I came back down here. Nope. Still unlocked. Yeah, I know, right? My last year of youngish. Quarantine still. That's still locked. That's still locked. What is this? Is this in the MRI? Oh yeah, I can tell you definitely my uh this year currently is probably my most exhausting year. Literally don't have any idea where to start. G give me a clue. I'm sure you could steal the cortex chip from the robot you found downstairs. Try rejecting it with the diagnostic I seriously have to go back. Wait, is that right? I have to go back all the way outside to get to that robot? I gotta do everything in one year. Yeah, you're right, I do. Wait, I can override some doors, but not all doors? Is that what I'm getting here? So if I go in here, I can override this floor because I'm on it? I think? No, I cannot. So according to this, I can go into this next room, but the door will be... One of the doors is still locked.
I'm so confused. False diagnostic to make it pop out a chip is what she says. I have no idea what a false diagnostic is, nor how, how to actually implement said false diagnostic. Getting really annoying having to run back and forth just to get a clear uh, clarification as to what she's talking about. Rather than just putting the objective somewhere on the map on my person. Use the computer downstairs next to the robot to reject the cortex chip. Use the computer downstairs next to the robot to reject the cortex chip. What downstairs computer are, is she referring to? I honestly have no idea. Use the computer next to the robot downstairs to reject the Cortex chip. It's like, I have no idea what robot you're referring to. Or where the hell this Cortex chip is. Or where this computer is, for that matter. Dead rat. A lot of dead rats. Another one of those things. Hot plate? Fish. A lot of fish. The WoW is restoring dead kit, dead dudes. Ah, so that's you. This is WoW right here. This is that guy who keeps randomly popping up right there. Like you'll walk in there and a creepy ass robo man just yells at you. You gotta do the thing, kid. Is it this thing that's making that noise? Where the hell's all that noise coming from?
Oh, there's a robo. So the gel makes things come back to life. That's normal. It came back to life. Something like it. Let's see what happens when I. Uh, what I meant to do was that. Lock it. Try it on the computer circuitry. Imagine it's going to do something different. And it did. That should make my character react to it. No? Not really. This is... <gasps> Perfect. I know exactly what to do. I'm a professional. There we go. That's half, that's one of them. Midichlorians? I'm expecting to get attacked any second now. There he is again. I 
I know it's important. Give me a second. Stop yelling at me. My body. I don't have any legs. Use the computer downstairs next to the robot to reject the Cortex chip. <laughs> She's saying that, but I have no idea where this robot is. In fact, I said I was going to go to bed already, but... I feel like I can probably almost get this done. Quit fucking doing that! God, scare the shit out of me every single fucking time, why don't you? Boxes of vomit. Hot plates? Hot plates. Mouse. Vomit supply, yeah. I won't have to worry about it for a while. I don't know what to do. Oh, I know. The lore in this game is kind of boring. Oh yeah, this is totally a scare place right here. Power room. Upper override. Ah, there's the suit. Maybe. That's not a suit. Never mind. It's just a dude in a suit. Wait, his head's missing. Oh. Somebody's stealing heads. Stealing a lot of heads. Munch print. I was trying to I was trying to use it but it wouldn't let me. Another one of those things. It won't let me interact. Oh, there it is. Oh, well. Johan Ross was found dead on the climb this morning. The wildlife been getting more aggressive. Fever out of hand. The staff looks like they're about to explode. Everything's 
This looks like a room where you hide. Just saying. I'm just saying. Look, there's a maintenance tunnel. It's locked. Gee, I wonder why. Ah, oh, look, all these uh, hidden things. Wait, are you the robot? Power pack. Fucking hell, dude. <sighs> That's one power pack. I need another. Where'd that lady go? Over there?
Trying to find that second power pack. At least I think there's a second one. It's annoying as fuck that she's standing like right in the doorway and I honestly have no idea how to make her move. I guess that works. Oh, if I know what the power pack's for. Let door damage be on repair. Wait, this door was locked again? You only need one. Okay. I'm making sure. Now the only thing left is... The robot. Uh, what is it? Ship. It's in one of the robots. Let's see if I can go to the lower level now. Oh, there it is. Okay. I didn't, this was not here. So now it is. All right. So how does this work? How am I enjoying it so far? I like, I'm liking some of the stuff. I'm not liking these uh, chase, these chase uh, sequences though. Really don't like those. They don't really seem to add anything. I think. 
Okay, but I got... I'm getting... I think I got everything that I need. I think. Alright, let's go see what she has to say. I think she'll probably tell me I'm missing something. My assumption is it's supposed to be like what? Survival horror? So it's gonna be like... Spooky shit. Yeah, like Amnesia. The same developers as Amnesia. Another one of Wild's monsters. We have everything we need, right? Yeah. Let's get to work. Back. Activation. D. Okay. Uh, what am I supposed to do with this? I guess, like, manually install all the shit? So let's put that in there. This is crazy. Don't worry, it'll work. Don't worry, it'll work. <laughs> That's what she says. Don't worry, it'll work. It's fine. So that's like a corpse without any without a head, and I'm supposed to transfer my character into that. Let's do it. Do it, do it. I can't believe we're doing this. It will be fine. Then why don't we put you in the suit? <laughs> I'm going to suggest that if you refuse. You'd go without me. I need to do this, Simon. This is important. I need to launch the Ark. You'd really do it. Change bodies. Yes. If you want to stay here, I'm not going to stand in your way. I don't want to tell you what to do. Will it be like before? Close my eyes and then... And then open them again. All right. Let's do it. Thank you, Simon. Go sit in the pilot seat in the next room. You might need to boot it up. Oh, that one? Uh... That's about right. Wrong frequency. Almost. Offset. There. That's everything. You can climb into the pilot seat now. Already? I have everything under control. So please, let us in. Sorry about any discomfort. This should be a routine. It's like having your picture taken. Well, with the most expensive camera in the world. You know. Indians thought photos would steal their souls. In this case, they'd be right. it still talking? It's the same like before. Catherine, why was he still talking? That's how it works, you know that. What do you mean? You know it's not magic. You were coffee. The sleeping Simon in the seat was coffee. And now, you are here, just like Simon lived on in Toronto. God damn you, Kat. Two Simons? There can't be two Simons. What did you think would happen? That you were gonna take my mind and put it into another body, like a brain transplant. I'm sorry, it wouldn't work that way. You realize how messed up this is? Please, I didn't mean to upset you. How did you expect me to react to this shit? You're fucking disgusting. What's gonna happen here? He'll sleep for a while, a few days. And then what? 
Wake up in this fucking nightmare again? All alone? So cool. Well, what do you want me to do with him? Make friends? Let him know that we have to leave him behind when we go into the abyss? What if... What if we didn't need to wake up? You do that? Is this a spoopy game? Kinda, yeah. Definitely had a lot of startling moments. And then that moment. So, I was just transferred out of a, another body into a, another body. But the idea was, it, was, it wasn't like, you know, cut and paste. It was more like copy paste. So, my consciousness was still in another body. And I was looking right back at him. It's like, well, that's totally not creepy as fuck at all. So now I have a new body that allows me to withstand very, very high water pressure. You know, because uh, the magnitudes of the ocean, as you get down deeper and deeper, the water gets, there's more and more water on top of you. In fact, I'm thinking I'm probably going to go to bed. It's like 3 o'clock here, and I'm going to have to get up early tomorrow or in the morning. So, yeah, I'm just going to stop here. Plus, I want to confirm just how 